Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Muradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Creative Ukraine. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about an amazing topic. I actually just love talking about winter fashion because there's so much to cover. And I love winter fashion because that's like the ultimate layering hack that you could ever use this is for winter because winter is the time for layering is the time for multiple layers is the time for feeling like a lot an onion and also being very comfortable very cozy and not compromising on style so these are all time six all time fashionable winter pieces that are first of all timeless they will never go out of style and second of all they will fit and work with each and every person's style they're pretty basic they're workable they're wearable etc etc so without further ado let's get into the video the first one I think you would probably guess if you watched my channel for at least a couple of months now my English channel or my main channel and uh, I'll try and link my main channel in the description box down below for anyone who's interested but it's not in English so just just saying so the first item is very very expected of me I feel like and this one is a vintage fur coat so I could say a fur coat but I do not want to perpetuate and also enhance the demand for fur coats new fur coats because that's basically not very nice I feel like because you're killing an animal in order just to wear something stylish it's not out of necessity so what I'd go for actually and that's going to be an amazing option this is not going to be actually a compromise because it's so so cool is a vintage fur coat and a vintage recycled or reworked fur coat so basically what's happening is there's a lot there's tons I'd say like hundreds of thousands of vintage old not very stylish in terms of silhouettes fur coats laying around in vintage in someone's closets in vintage stores in secondhand stores etc etc so a person or a brand that does the recycling what they do they actually purchase those unstylish silhouetted vintage coats fur coats and then they kind of rework it so basically they cut it up and they sew it back down in order for the silhouette to be more appropriate for 2023 and they look absolutely amazing you will be crazy comfortable and crazy warm in these coats because that's natural fur and especially if you're living in a climate that's very prone to colds and like lots of colds for example if you're living in ukraine but also if you're living for example in new york in boston Winters get very wintry out there. Sometimes it can get up to like negative tan, I'd say, especially in Boston. I've been there, I've seen that, it's pretty cold. And it's also really um, humid out there. So the cold feels much colder because it gets in your bones, you're freezing to the bones. So fur coats are absolutely a must over there. So puffer coats, obviously, but if you're willing to invest into something more like elegant and stylish and cool and textured, this is the way to go because a fur coat obviously is going to give you some texture to your look it's going to look more interesting more deep more 3d and also fur coat is not only to be paired with something very elegant like a suit like a skirt like a dress like something evening like theater style attire etc etc this would work amazingly with for example some skirts some sweatpants some denim all denim look etc etc so everything so whatever you think of this could work with a fur coat obviously and the more polarizing the more crazy different these styles are so fur coats very elegant and the more crazy different style you would choose for the winter for the fur coat this is going to work even better with it because it's going to be a balance of styles and i've been preaching about balance of styles forever and ever and it's the best kept secret in the whole fashion industry it's the best style tip i would give to each and every person actually just to balance styles in your look and that's going to look even more interesting and beautiful and stylish and very unique so for example my look today is very very different and kind of crazy and i love crazy i am crazy so everything i do is kind of crazy a little bit at least so what i have on me is a very elegant also kind of crazy leopard print very feminine skirt by kelvin klein and ruff simmons for kelvin klein that 
beautiful era for me personally and then I have on me a very sporty top by Adidas and what ends up happening is we have these two absolutely completely different styles they're on absolute different ends of the spectrum the style spectrum so something very feminine and something very masculine and sporty therefore they're going to be an amazing addition to one another they're gonna balance one another out and they're gonna create a beautiful balanced interesting and unique look that's going to first of all attract attention obviously also because of the print and the colors but also because of the difference of these styles so this is the reasoning behind pairing your fur coat vintage fur coat with something sporty so a sweatpant um, suit or for example a denim look denim and a sweatshirt denim and a sweater etc etc and it's going to look absolutely beautiful and one of the best pairings for shoes I'd say is a vintage fur coat and sneakers very effortless very je ne sais quoi Parisian style and I love it so if you wanna get your hands on a beautiful unique one of a kind obviously because this is going to be a vintage piece that's reworked so it's definitely gonna be very unique I definitely feel like you should go for a vintage fur coat you're not gonna regret it you're gonna get so much wear out of it it's gonna attract attention it's gonna be a communication piece obviously attention piece it's gonna be beautiful and also really really practical and warm but always make Make sure you go for an actual vintage coat one of the brands I would advise to you is a Ukrainian brand actually that's a recycling Ukrainian brand that actually recycles and repurposes vintage for coats and it's called Bajane Vintage. I'll show their pictures and their styles etc etc their items over here on the screen but also I'll try and remember to link them down below they're absolutely cool beautiful very stylish and I love pairing these things with something very sporty and the next piece that's absolutely timeless and works with each and every person's style for winter is a beanie hat and I'd go for a mid chunky beanie hat so not something that would be very thin and cling to your head because it doesn't work with each and every person's face shape especially for example for someone with a round face shape or a square face shape something that's very thin and I'm talking about a beanie hat is going to kind of squash your hair and get rid of all the volume up top and therefore make your face even rounder or more square and that's not the goal out here so I'd go for a mid thickness kind of a beanie hat in a basic color it's going to work with your fur coats with your puffer jackets with your like just wool winter warm coats etc etc so each and every item in your clothing it's gonna work with it and uh, it's just absolutely timeless and I think it doesn't need any more introduction that I've said already and the next thing is a chunky combat boot it can go a long way and I'm not talking about a very like crazy combat boot I'm talking about something like Bottega or something like Magda Butram, something kind of on the chunky side but not too chunky with at least a bit of a feminine shape to it not like Dr. Doc Martens per se because those are pretty like sporty and pretty like military style and I'm talking about something in between that balances out those shapes and also I'm talking about a leather boot for sure and the less hardware there is the better because it's going to look more effortless and work with absolutely everything and I think one of the best styles there is in terms of this specific like aesthetic is definitely the Bottega combat boot because it doesn't have any lacing it doesn't have anything and the platform is thick enough but not too thick not too crazy not too combat-y and it works with feminine dresses with skirts but also with sportswear with denim etc etc so I feel like it's like a timeless piece it's been proven year and year again that it works with absolutely everything it doesn't go out of style per se it's not totally always up top in terms of style but it's always in there it could be a piece of your basic shoe wardrobe and uh, you know serve you really well for the next 10 to 20 years for sure the next piece of clothing I'll talk about is uh, gray wool pants they're absolutely amazing I feel like 
the reasoning behind gray is because black is just a bit boring you know obviously black would work as well but for winter especially i love like enhancing your look with just a bit of a different color even though gray is kind of like gray and also very basic it's not as dark and as gloomy as dramatic as black and it works much nicer and much smoother into each and every look because the color is not so contrasting therefore for example you can compare a look that has some like red sweater and then a gray wool pant and a look that has a red sweater and a black wool pant and what you end up seeing is that the first look looks much smoother and kind of nicer and the transition between these two colors is much like nicer to the eye whereas the second look is much more contrasting and therefore kind of hits your eye instantly and is too much for a lot of people so i feel like a gray wool pan is an amazing mix of something classy of something that's going to work with sneakers and compact boots but also something that would work with like sweaters and would look just a bit like smoother and nicer for winter and not everything is supposed to be black obviously the next piece of uh, clothing I'll talk about is definitely a cashmere jumper. And I'm talking about a cashmere jumper as opposed to a cashmere polo neck or whatever neck sweater because I love polo jumpers first of all for their ability to elongate your neck and for some people for people who have done, don't necessarily have like a very long neck like me it's very necessary and second of all I love pairing jumpers with something underneath them and sweaters don't have that ability obviously so for example I love wearing jumpers or layering jumpers over blouses, over shirts, like men's style cotton shirts, but also over a t-shirt or a lawn sleeve. And you get this like beautiful slip of white underneath the jumper. And it's just everything you need to have just a little bit of oomph into your look. Not too much, but something that's peeking out underneath your jumper is something that's going to give more depth to your look. Even though it doesn't feel like this and doesn't sound like this, it actually will work to make your look more complete without adding too much. So that's the reason I love jumpers as opposed to sweaters because they have more ability to be styled in different ways. And I feel like a cashmere jumper, and first of all, cashmere, it's a very important topic. I love cashmere. Cashmere is beautiful for winter. It's very, very warm. It has this ability to warm you up and also make you feel very cozy. And also what's beautiful with cashmere, it has different price points. It's on the pricier side, obviously, but also it's much softer and nicer and you can get a very good cashmere for example in H&M's premium line and their cashmere is so 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 cool I love their cashmere actually and if you end up like finding a cashmere jumper by H&M definitely go for it and on the screen now I'll show you two options a cashmere red jumper from their newest collection and a cashmere sweater from their newest collection the first one in red and the second one in pink and they're absolutely beautiful and their cashmere is so so nice and it's actually a premium quality cashmere which is really cool really warm really nice really soft to the skin etc etc and it wears really well uh, you definitely have to work a little bit more in terms of washing your cashmere so definitely go for the dry cleaning but you can always find a dry cleaning that is not that pricey first of all and also the second tip i'd give for cashmere specifically and also sorry this is just like a stream of consciousness let me know in the comments below if you want me to create like a series of episodes over here on this channel regarding care for different styles and types of clothing and materials so for example cashmere wool etc etc silk how do you wash it how do you take care of it how do you store these items etc etc let me know in the comments below so one tip for cashmere for sure in order for cashmere not to absorb your bodily fluids whatever they are and also in order for cashmere not to be washed like every day and also to serve you longer always make Make sure you wear something underneath it to kind of absorb your like sweat or whatever it is so for example a uh, um, long sleeve a t-shirt like anything that is going to protect cashmere from direct contact with your body per se and the last thing I'll talk about is a absolutely beautiful timeless piece it's a 
looser kind of midi knit dress very feminine works with each and every kind of shoe you can imagine so it can work with combat boots with over the knee boots with uh, riding shoes with sneakers with whatever you can think of with uggs with heels but also works for each and every occasion you can think of so for example this could work for your home outfit when you invite guests and you have like a home kind of party this could be an outfit for that as well this could work for each and every purpose for example going out going shopping going with your kids somewhere picking your kids up from school having a vacation and wearing this on a vacation and it's really beautiful it pairs beautifully with like a cashmere or whatever it is a knit cardigan it pairs beautifully with a uh, an oversized blazer i love knitted dresses because they're so complete you don't necessarily need to think a lot about them and what to pair them with because they're a complete outfit and they give this like texture to your outfit and they can also be not only patterned but also like printed etc etc so you can always spice it up a little bit but a knit midi dress is the perfect especially a loose one is the perfect kind of dress for winter because you still can be feminine but also you can be warm because you can wear very thick tights or like whatever you can think of underneath like long, longer socks but also you can wear an over the knee boot with a knit midi dress and therefore have two beautiful warm layers to warm you up during the winter and it's not going to be visible it's going to look very effortless and cool and chic so i feel like a knit midi dress is a win-win situation for each and every closet because it could be styled multiple ways it looks really feminine and beautiful and you can always make it look like you and style it in your way so it's timeless and works with each and every person's wardrobe and this is it for this video so let me know in the comments below which is your timeless piece what do you feel like would be worth investing in for a winter which is the item in your closet works for you and it's been working for you for the last like 10 years or something that you keep like rebuying repeating or re-wearing all the time let me know in the comments below and this is it for this video i'll see you in the next one and bye